Hello viewers, welcome back to our YouTube channel 3D Parametric Solid Model Drawings. Today we will create a model suspension spring in Simons NX, which is taken off our model suspension assembly. Since many times more viewers said to me that why we had not made the separate video of suspension spring. So today I decided to make a separate video of this model. Okay, alright. If you want to get the file of this model, I have given the link address in the description of my video. By visiting that link, you can get it easily. Okay, alright. Let's start the tutorial. Now we will activate the new button on here. It will keep as an inch file. Okay, alright. Now we will set the location of the power file so that our file gets saved here. Now we will create a new folder. Okay, save the power file with the name suspension spring. and click OK. Activate the PMI button on here. And change the decimal value up to 4 places. Set the decimal delimiter value period and click OK. Now we will activate the sketch preferences option on here. Deactivate the change view orientation option. OK, that's it. Let's start the sketch tool on here. Now select YZ plane to start the sketch over this plane. Okay, alright. Now select the snap to view option from the design window so that the model rotate along this plane. Now we will create a horizontal line on here and its length will keep 1 inches. Now select the midpoint of this line and sketch origin and apply the coincident constraint between them. Now choose the fit to view, ok. Now my line is fully constrained on here. Now draw two circles in the design window like this. Activate the rapid dimension tool on here. And select this circle, ok. Fix the diameter of this circle 0 0.043 inches. Now select these two circles and apply the equal radius constraint between them. And fix the horizontal constraint on the center point of the circles. Now we will create two points over the circle like this.
select this point and the center point of the circle and apply the vertical constraint between them. Select this point and the center point of the circle and apply horizontal constraint between them. Okay, that's it. Fix the tangent constraint between these two circles like this. Now we will select the end point of the line and this point, okay. And fix the dimension 0.275 inches. We will fix the vertical constraint between this point and the end point of the line. Hide the visibility of the sketch constraints on here. Convert this circle and line into reference geometry. Ok, finish the sketch. Now we will choose an isometric view. Ok. Now go to the curve tab. We will activate the helix tool. Now we will rotate the helix minus 90 degrees on here. Drag the helix in this direction by selecting the pointer. Ok. Set the y coordinate value minus 0 0.4785 inches. Ok, that's it. In the helix dialog box, we will select the turns option under the length method section. Ok, alright. In the size area, we will fix the helix diameter value 0.593 inches. Set the helix pitch value 0.2 inches. And fix the helix turns value 5. Ok. Set the turns direction left hand. Fix the angle value 90 degrees under the orientation area. Now you can see in the design window. And click OK to finish the command. Now see the result my helix is created on here. Now we will activate the step command, ok. First of all, we will select the circle, ok, which will keep as a profile. And then next, select the helix on here, which will keep as a guide. Now see, the swept preview is visible here in the design window. If you want to create complex features, you can select maximum 3 guide curves on here. And click OK to finish the command. The sub feature has been successfully created on here.
okay save the power file now we will change the power color on here okay that's it now we will activate the true shading button on here deactivate the planner shadow and flow reflection button Okay, now my spring is looking perfect. Rotate the model in this position. Now we will activate the helix tool once again. Rotate the helix in this position. And drag the helix in this direction. Set the Y coordinate value min minus 0 0.4785 inches. Helix pitch value will keep 0 0.044 inches. Helix turns will keep 2. Fix the angle value to 70 degrees. Okay, that's it. Now we will create one more swept feature by selecting the helix like this. Go to the selection filter here and select the solid bodies option. You can see here two separate solid bodies are visible here in the design window. We will add these two solid bodies with the help of unite command. Okay, activate the unite command. And select the first sweep feature which will keep as a target body and then next we will select the second sweep feature which will keep as a tool body. Okay, that's it. Now see the result. Now we will activate the intersection curve command from here. At first Select the YZ plane, OK. And then next, select the entire body. And click OK. Now see projected curves are visible here. Let's start a new sketch on the YZ plane. Now we will activate the edit section view command by selecting this plane. Click OK. Take the project of these two curves by activating the project curve command. Hide the visibility of the intersection curve from here. Okay, alright. Now we will convert these two projected curves into reference geometry. Now we create a rectangle on here. Okay. Select the midpoint of the rectangle line and sketch origin. And apply the horizontal alignment constraint between them. Now we will select this rectangle line and 
this curve okay and fix the tangent constraint between them okay finish the sketch now deactivate the section view from here choose an isometric view now we will activate the extrude command from here okay and select the rectangle now we will choose the symmetric value option under the limit section okay make sure subtract option should be activated under the boolean section and click ok now see the result my bottom surface of the spring model is plain on here so we will place the spring easily on my suspension assembly close the visibility of this sketch and helix curve okay it looks great save the file in the same manner we will create one more helix over the opposite side of the spring that we had done just before Drag the helix in upward direction and fix the y coordinate value 0.5215 inches. Set the angle value 90 degrees. And click OK. Create a new sketch on this face and take the project of this circular edge. Ok, finish the sketch. Now we will activate the set command and select the circle which will keep as a section. Next select the helix which will keep as a guide and click ok. Now see the result. Now we will convert two solid bodies into a single solid body by using unite command okay that's it in the same manner we will plane the top surface of the spring by using the extrude command that we had done on the bottom surface
Finally, my suspension spring has been completed in Simon's NX. I hope you understand this video easily. If you may like this video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please share this video your friends and colleagues. Okay friends, goodbye.